Sunrise and Morning Thoughts. Sex without love causes cancer. Now, you can say whatever you want and however you feel about the topic, but let's face facts. A human being who has engaged in sex forms deep emotional and spiritual bonds with the people they're having sex with, right? That's why it hurts when they don't return what's expected, right? As a human being, you know you're supposed to be loved. But what is love? Love is the responsibility of another person. When the mother says she loves her child, she is telling this child, I am responsible for you. I care for you. I am going to tell you the best that I know for you to have and to help you make the best decisions to live a long and prosperous and fruitful life. So when someone approaches you, they should have this in mind. When someone approaches you, they should be saying, sister or brother, you know, I care about you and I want what's best for you and I want to care for you for the rest of your life. That's a responsibility, right? They're not responsible for your happiness, but to be responsible for the person that they're going to share their life, their bodies, and their time with. These three things are priceless. So if I'm going to share my pricelessness with you, then I should be receiving the same. When you have sex without love, it causes a spiritual cancer. The cancer of having your heart broken repeatedly will cause people to become narcissistic. Narcissism is known as a psychosis, right? If you look up the symptoms of narcissists, this person will become a liar, a manipulator. This person will become uh, 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 self-engrossed, meaning they only care about what's good for them and not what's good for others as well as themselves. So they're not looking at the whole. They're just only concerned with what am I going to get out of the equation? So when you just want the physical pleasure for yourself, right? And just, hey, I don't want nothing else from you. Just get on about your life. You're becoming narcissistic. And that's a spiritual cancer, which manifests as a psychosis. Do you see how this is all connected? The next part about this is that spiritual cancer will manifest physically right? This ease is, has a spiritual connection. So what is wrong with you spiritually will soon manifest within the body. Oh, you don't think so. You ever see someone will themselves to death after a long life of loving someone, right? They just lose the will to live and they die of a broken heart. How does a, break, a broken heart, something that's supposed to be purely emotional, affect someone's physical being? Because the two are combined. They work in tandem together. So, if you're going to be out here and you're going to live a right and righteous life, first things first, get your responsibilities in order, right? Don't approach a person because they're beautiful. Approach a person because you're willing to be responsible for them first. Period. That's called being a man. When you approach a woman, approach her with every intention of taking care of her and helping her and working with her through all of her problems. So take all of that into account before you approach even unto her. Believe me. If you do it first, then I promise if she's not willing to reciprocate, the only thing she's going to do is walk away or avoid the issue to go find whatever it is 
that she's engrossed in. And if she's narcissistic, she won't participate because you're asking her to give of herself rather than you're just placating or feeding her narcissism. Sex without love causes cancer. Check out my YouTube, The Shake Comedy Music Channel. Check out my Patreon page, you know, The Shake at patreon.com. And hey, I'm out here. I'll be doing these sunrise and morning thoughts every morning. I'm going to be doing some, some comedy sketches and some musical sketches and some collaborations with people from all over the world. So from Israel to your home, as it was written unto Moshe, so shall it be done.